Well, we have confirmed the university president, the athletic director, and football coach all met here today with the Board of Regents to discuss this report. Now, it does not go into personnel matters or make recommendations along that line, but it does offer suggestions on how to improve the program. The report finds the Maryland football team did not have a toxic culture, but it did have a culture where problems festered because too many players feared speaking out. According to the report, the football culture at the college did not cause the death of 19-year-old Jordan McNair. The University of Maryland football team is under intense scrutiny because of his death. Back on May 29th, McNair suffered heat stroke during practice. He died 15 days later. The investigation overseen by the University of Maryland Board of Regents began after ESPN reports describing coaches as bullies who demean and intimidated players. The eight-person commission interviewed 165 people, including current players. For example, one says, It's somewhat a toxic culture. It's an alpha male one. And if you don't buy into what they are saying, they'll find a way to weave you out. They use humiliation and talk down to players. Players told commission members the use of profanity against team members was excessive and personal in nature. They complained a former coach attempted to humiliate players by throwing food, weights, and one time a trash can full of vomit. But some current players had positive things to say about the program. The culture is one that promotes competition, and those who work hard are rewarded. The report makes numerous recommendations. Strength and conditioning coaches must be certified and CPR and first aid. Sports medicine staff must be empowered with unchallengeable authority to cancel or modify workouts for health and safety reasons. Strength and conditioning coaches report directly to an associate athletic director and not the head coach. Install video cameras in weight rooms. Conduct audits every two years. Conduct anonymous student surveys. This entire report can be found on the WBAL-TV app. Reporting live from downtown, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.